So now that we know how we can save our data to the database and persist it, uh, let's try to create a view component with which we can add our posts more easily to our database. Of course, you could go and use this explorer right here, uh, go to post, click here and then add something. But that kind of sucks and you can't deliver this to your user uh, or to your client. So what we want to do in this episode is create a real Vue.js application using Vue CLI and uh, then list our posts and also allow our users to add new posts. Now, first of all, we are going to generate our application using Vue CLI. So if you don't already have it installed, you would use this command npm ig Vue CLI. So install it globally. Of course, use sudo if you get errors. And then we want to create our project with Vue CLI. And we are going to create it with this starter pack uh, called Bootstrap View because we want to have Bootstrap in our Vue application so that the things don't look ugly which we create. So I'm just going to copy this out. And as you can see, my API server is already running at localhost 3000. Uh, but right here, so in a separate directory, you would just paste this. And we don't want to actually create webpack simple, but just webpack. And we give a name of our, of our project, which is going to be loopback blog. Okay, so a UAE command is not recognized. So view instead of UE. Now it's downloading template and the project name is going to be Lublab blog, uh, description, author. We want to use the runtime plus compiler and we want to install view router, of course. Uh, we don't want to lint our code or do any tests for now. Now we just CD into Lubeck blog and do npm install. Okay, so now that this is done, since we are going to be needing uh, Axios for getting our post back, uh, we are going to just do npm install Axios. Open this up in uh, PHP Storm or whatever editor you want. Now let's just run our application by doing npm run dev. So this is automatically going to open up our application right here. Uh, in our browser. So now we have uh, our application right here and we have our API right here. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we are going to go to src uh, app.view and first of all I'm just going to remove this asset logo.png because we don't need it on every page. So we are going to do that. Uh, next thing uh, let me just save this, go to this page. As you can see, the logo is gone. Next thing we want to do is we want to go to our components and we have this hello view. Uh, we are going to create a new component and call it homepage.html. Uh, view, I'm sorry, not HTML, of course. Okay. So once this is done, let's just create a template right here and just do something like hi. Actually not hi, but we'll just go going to do message. Message and right here we want to do script and do export default And uh, now I'm just going to set the data to be returned as an object. So just that we can see that the view is working. So we are going to return the message of hello world. Okay, in our homepage. Next thing you need to go to your router and go to index.js uh, file. Make this a bit bigger. And we want to set our path, our root path, not to go to the hello component, but to homepage component. Right? And now we, of course, have to import it. Homepage. Okay, and now we're using it right here. And that should be uh, enough for the setup, I think. 
let's just check out our, our application as you can see we get hello world right here because it's reading our homepage.view file so if i remove this and add something else right here the message would change i'm just going to call this post list because below this title we will list our posts and uh, I'm just going to go right here and delete all of this except for the font family. I like the font family. And if we check out our page right now, we can see that the post list is in the upper left corner. Uh, this is because it doesn't have any styling on it. Um, we didn't wrap it in anything. So I'm just going to create a container right here. And in that container, we are going to have a row. And in that row, we are going to have a column of six. And if I paste post list right here, we don't want to leave it right here because we only can have one root, uh, one root div or one root element. So we have to remove it from here. And if I save our page now, we get this. Uh, but I also want this to be centered. So for this call six to be centered, so we are just going to use justify content center. And now it's more to the middle. And also we want to add some margins to this. So I'm just going to do uh, M Y five. So margin top and bottom is going to be five, not pixels, but probably rams or something like that. So, okay, so post list is not at the top of our page. Great. <clears throat> now that we did that, uh, let's display our posts. So how do we do that? Well, of course, we use Axios. So first of all, I'm just going to set a mounted method right here and try to get our posts. And to do that, you would just use Axios. Okay, put this at the center of the page axios.get and we can go to right here and do api posts so this is where we are getting our posts and we can just copy this whole url put it right here and say then so once you finished with that please give me a response back and i am actually going to set posts here which are going to be an array and we can just do cons uh, actually not console log but this dot posts is equal to response dot data and if we console log this out we should get the posts in our uh, console so if I save this, actually this won't work because we forgot, or actually I forgot to import Axios. As you can see, do we get an error? Yes, we got an error because a view doesn't know what Axios is at the moment. So import, import Axios from Axios and form from and now if we refresh the page you can see that we have nine posts so i added some posts behind the scenes before beginning this episode okay now we have our post list actually we are getting the data for our post list so what i'm actually going to do is we want to make these separate methods so i'm just going to copy this and create our methods and the first method is going to be get the posts and i'm just going to paste this in so once our uh, component is mounted we want to get the posts All right so this get posts uh, should get us these posts right here and the next thing we can do, we can just go right here and use a card element from a bootstrap. So card body, H3 is going to be, so first of all, we have to set up our uh, loop, V4, post in posts. 
Okay, now in H3, we just do post dot title. And in our P tag, we can just do V text equals to post dot content. Okay, and I think that should be it. So we should be getting our posts displayed on our page right now, if everything works. And as you can see, it kind of works, but I know, don't know what's happening to this styling. Oh, it's because uh, our div is outside of this call six. So I'm just going to paste this in right here. And now we get a better list of posts. Also, we can just add a margin bottom of let's say three to every uh, one of these cards. So as you can see, this looks a bit better now. And wh what I also want to do is I want to show the last edit posts first and you know, so I'm just going to go right here and actually say that this dot posts reverse. So we are just going to reverse that list so that we can get the uh, post that we added last uh, first. Uh, this is going to help us when we add our controls for adding new posts so that we can see that new posts are added. Okay, save this. And as you can see now, our list looks a bit different. So our string string post is last and our SSS DDD post is first. Now let's add controls for adding our posts. So we are also going to use card, card body, and now we can just do form group. And in that form group, we are going to have an input of type of text. It's going to have a class of form control. And it's going to have a placeholder enter the title. Uh, next thing we can have another form group with a text area field. And it's going to be class of form control and placeholder. And at the bottom right here, we are going to have a button. of button and button primary and it's going to say add post. Okay, save this. Let's see how it looks. Looks kind of okay, uh, but we can do mv3 right here, here. Okay, a bit better. Uh, okay, note mv3 33 but 3. Okay, now we have this and also on the whole card, I'm going to do MB5. So margin bottom of five units. And that's about it. So now we have this and now we just need to use that to add new posts uh, to our database. And how do we do that? Well, uh, we first of all need to set the model right here and it's going to be called title and this is going to be called content. Okay, now we have content and title models and we of course need to define them right here. Okay, title and content. And on the button, uh, we wanna have a new method. So V on click is equal to add post. So we want to have a method called add post. And what this method is going to be doing is adding posts. So we create add post method. And uh, this method is going to take our data first. So const data. And that data is equal to this object with title that is going to be this dot title and with uh, content 
that is going to be this that content okay so now that we have our data set up <coughs> we need to do uh, we need to post that data to our server to our api server so we do that with axios that post and we want to hit that post uh, route again because if you go to loopback and go to explorer and now you go to posts you can see that the posts method is on the post a post api endpoint you just need to access it with another method so it's uh, the exactly the same as get but when you do get you would get the list of posts and when you do post to that endpoint you would be able to save something to your database okay so we are going to send that data to the localhost 3000 api posts and then after that we of course want to get a response just to see if anything happened so console log response okay so i think this should work let's just save this I go right here uh, refresh this page okay no errors and if i do something like and click add post now as you can see we get the response from the server and the status is 200 so that's great for us because if this uh, if the status is 200 then it means that our post request has passed and if i refresh this page we can we should see this my new post right here so we added our new post to the database so let's just make this a bit better uh, so instead let's leave this console log, log response okay but what we want to do when we add something new to our database we want to get new posts and luckily we created method for that so once this request has finished then you should console log out response and also get posts so we want to get those posts again so if i save this go right here add something and click add post as you can see the new post appears right here okay great just one more thing we want to do is we want to clear uh, these input fields uh, once the post has been sent so what we can do we can create a new method uh, called clear input and we would just do this dot title equals nothing and content is also equal nothing save this go right here add something and as you can see we added our posts but this didn't clear because i'm an idiot because we didn't say once you get the new post please also clear inputs so i forgot that okay so let's try this again with numbers this time add post as you can see our inputs are now clear and we get our post list great so in the next episode we are going to be tackling authentication with lubeck uh, because as you can see anybody can now add posts to our web page website web application whatever you want to call it so in the next episode we want uh, normal users to be able to look at these posts but only authenticated users should be able to add new posts okay so this has been it for this episode if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you like the content i put out uh, please subscribe to my channel also you can ask me questions on social media and if you want to send some money my way you can use the patreon page for that and for all you existing patrons thank you very much uh, for your donations thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one